what's up? Welcome to a new comedy log. This one's a little, little different. I think I say that about all of them now. They all change format like every episode. But we're starting off here on our nice, lovely webcam that we all know and love. And the reason why we normally use this webcam isn't really because of the webcam. It's because of our microphone. We have an Audio-Technica AT2020 that I absolutely adore. There's this give and take when making episodes of the vlog, Comilog in particular. What do I want? Do I want better visuals or do I want better audio? Because definitely my cell phone camera is way better uh, than the pretty good Logitech C920 is what we're rolling with. And great webcam, kind of top tier as far as webcams go in my opinion, but the lens is still very, very limited. We have our Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge that we love. The only thing is, the microphone's not that great on it. If you go watch my Game of the Year video, Top Games of 2017, I love how that video turned out with the exception of the audio. I do have a cell phone lavalier microphone <laughs> somewhere in here in this bundle of cables, but this is exactly what I'm gonna get to here in just a moment. You can see that this would be kind of a pain. Yeah, you have your microphone right here, you clip it, but the sound quality, wasn't all that great. And also, there's a little battery in here. This is an Audio-Technica, by the way, a small little tiny Audio-Technica, if you can see that. But it uses like a little watch battery, almost. And if I'm a goober and I leave it to on, it just drains that battery. I can't have that. And getting that wire and hooking it up and getting it all mounted up and stuff, it's kind of annoying. So what does a good video blogger have to do? In comes, maybe, we'll see a savior. The Comica, Comica, Comisa, one of those. Directional condenser shotgun video microphone for smartphones. So as you can see um, right on the picture, it literally just clips onto the mount. I have it unboxed right here. Uh, I'm probably rolling the B-roll footage of just showing the box and the unboxing. But here it is. Um, Primarily, it has all sorts of fun features, like it's a cardioid microphone, just like this AT2020. Has a audio monitor pass-through on the back. Um, a creative smartphone stopper, which means it can just custom fit to your phone. Um, Anti-interference, which is pretty handy. We'll actually get to that whenever we test this thing out. And then it's all metal. This thing is actually a decent weight. This is a little heavier than I thought it would be. But as you can see, I got it in my hand right here. I got... The dead cat, I'm excited because it comes with a normal pop filter and then it comes with a dead cat or also called a wind muff that actually will really help if we go film outside. This reduces wind and interference like crazy. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to kind of test this out. Now, here's the thing. Before we even get into the review, the, the actual microphone on the Samsung S7 Edge, the Galaxy S7 Edge, is top of the line for a cell phone. So we're actually comparing this standalone microphone with a fairly good built-in onboard phone microphone. The nice thing about this is no matter where I have the camera positioned, I just unplug the mic and plug it back in to face me. So there's a benefit right there. Enough of my yapping, let's get me yapping on the cell phone so you can see what the differences are. So we're here on selfie mode on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and this is the built-in microphone because I'm holding the Comica microphone right here in my hand. But let's take a look at what this one sounds like. All right, so we have the new microphone plugged in. I will say that I already did these recordings one time, but there was a lot of popping, uh, just like background humming and popping. I didn't quite know what was causing it until I remembered there is a little piece of paper that comes with the microphone that says, turn your phone onto airplane mode because any of the Wi-Fi signals and stuff like that might cause interference. So I'm hoping this kind of resolves that issue. So here we are on the front facing camera. Uh, so the actual higher quality, higher fidelity. Uh, I'm interested to see how the onboard microphone works, especially in this room. Uh, but yeah, we are just using the pure microphone from the phone itself. Now here we are with the same uh, angle, the same everything, but we now have the microphone plugged in. I'm interested, the dynamics, this room's pretty small, so all the sound bouncing and stuff like that, I wonder how this is going to react to it. Another thing, I have not touched anything 
in post-production. So I haven't done any gain influence, haven't gotten any noise reduction, any of that stuff. Um, but actually, let's try it right now. So now I've done slight editing, just a little bit of editing, maybe brought down the noise a little bit, uh, maybe up the gain a little. So after a quick go around in post-production, this is what the sound could sound like. So yeah, hope you guys like that pretty quick look on how this little bad boy did. Personally, I'm impressed. I think what it does is it kind of cuts out a little bit of the high range and then boosts up the bass a little bit. So I'm excited to get in and edit it, you know, whenever I snap my fingers and say, okay, here's post-production. I'm kind of interested in what that's going to sound like because overall, I think this gives a more natural feel of what a voice sounds like. And I mean, we're comparing it with a awesome cardioid big microphone USB, you know. Let me know what you think in the comments. The nice thing is that, you know, you can put it on whichever side uh, you might want. So, you know, if I'm doing selfie mode like this, I just put the mic like that facing me. Um, but then if I'm doing the, the shots to where, you know, I'm using the uh, better camera right here and filming out, I can always just do that if I want to get somebody like for an interview. Or if it's me narrating something, I just flip it backwards. Bam. Done. Don't have to worry about cables. Don't have to worry about wires. It's all there. It's all good. But I'm really happy with all the stuff it came with. Let me know in the comments what you think about the audio quality, because now we have three different mics on the same video. We have the onboard cell phone microphone. We got the Comica uh, cardioid microphone that goes into the phone. And then we have the Audio-Technica AT2020. So it's going to be fun to kind of compare all three. I think it's going to be a pretty clear winner is the, of course, Audio-Technica. But the mobility that this gives us is going to be pretty great, I have a feeling. But yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Do you have a mic like this? I know Rode makes something called the Video Mic Me. That's almost exactly the same thing, and it comes with the same stuff, a pop filter and a dead cat. So yeah, let me know if you've had any good experience with this type of stuff. I'm hoping to make this a full-on vlogging machine, getting a dedicated light mount for it, maybe a mobile tripod, um, just something mobile that I can take with me. Not quite a selfie stick, but something similar. Uh, I'll kind of look around at that, but hopefully we can make this a little filmmaker's uh, dream right here until we save up enough to get a DSLR, which is the end game, I will say. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, this has been Comilog. So until next time, you know the drill. Peace.